Hey people, welcome to another video for the channel. I was just reading about this, that they still hear voices of people buried under the rubble after a week. And that got me thinking, how long can you actually survive buried under the rubble in you know a, a, an event like this one? Well, there's a few things we already know, but there's quite a bit of variation. The simple rule of three that we apply in preparedness, like you cannot survive more than three days without water, that is kind of like a, a pretty safe approach, but the reality is you can actually survive a lot longer. I think the record is like two or three weeks, if I'm remembering correctly, from a young man that was left in a prison cell at some point, but there's so many variations with water because it really depends on temperature, how well hydrated you were before that, um, if you're moving, if you're uh, in exposed to sunlight or not. I mean, you could die within hours with um, exposure in very hot climates. Now, buried under the rubble, that's going to be a different story. Now, in terms of how long can you survive? Well, they keep on looking. A week, there's people that are still being found as of today, as of right now. You have to analyze this from where it's happening. It's um, you know cold weather conditions right now. Probably uh, you're um, exposed to uh, the elements, but if you're buried, there's maybe quite a bit of thermal protection in the rubble, in you know the material covering you as it is. So let's assume that you're of a you know somewhat uh, uh, fit uh, condition and you're not uh, wounded in, in such a way that you need immediate health care of course it's that the, that's the case you won't be coming out of there but let's say you just got buried and you miraculously made it so as to not be uh, too wounded and you're maybe pinned or you're just buried in a like in a in a basement somewhere under tons and tons of rubble how long can you make it well, it can be quite a bit longer than some people think. If you're maybe immobilized, but you're not dying through hypothermia because you're not freezing to death, um, it could easily be that you can survive for even a couple weeks. So I started looking around and how long can people survive in the rubble after? Well, there it is. Um, there's some cases here um, that I found. Uh, usually you try to be rescued within 24 hours, yeah, but what if that's not the case after there's, this is what I was looking for, uh, after the 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami, a teenager and his mother and his 80 year old grandmother were found alive after nine days trapped in their flattened home. I will quickly assume here that both the teenager and the 80 year old grandmother were trapped but were not physically harmed in any serious way because even you know just a little bit of bleeding or anything a bit more more complicated, uh, I don't think you're gonna be surviving for for very long, let alone nine days. The year before, a 16-year-old Haitian girl was rescued from an earthquake rubble in Port-au-Prince after 15 days. That's two weeks, and that's a two-week mark where yeah, if you're trapped, there's no water. Kind of that's where you're at. If you're not freezing to death, you may survive up to uh, yeah, approximately two weeks, which is a point in which, because of the lack of water, that's, that's really pushing. Water is complicated, man. Water is one of our more precious resources in preparedness because after just a few hours, you're feeling it. After a couple days, man, you will be desperate for water. If you're not able to move, if you're insulated from exterior temperatures and you're just, you know, staying like, uh, like, a, you know, immobilized and very still, you can survive up to um, two weeks. There's an instance of that occurring. Folks, I hope that gives you a little bit more information, a little bit more understanding of how much you can push the human body when extreme incidents like this uh, occur. Remember, if you want to learn more about survival and preparedness, you have my channel, you have my books, Surviving the Economic Collapse, Street Survival Skills. The links are there below in the description. Take care.